Hello and welcome to another Indie Horror Game. This time I'll be playing the demo to Ebola 2 Survival. Now, I never played Ebola 1, but I'm drawn to this demo. I'm drawn to this game because this is made by Indie Game Studio. They're the people behind 1406. I just had to wait. Be Yay, I survived! Is that it? Is that genuinely it? Centralia? Shirley, including my daughter Shirley. I was on a business trip. After the disaster, my daughter... And Centralia Homecoming. Stay I right there, Henry. I want you to leave. <laughs> what the fuck? Mm, looking for my mm hmm But remarkably, it seems like this demo is being received fairly well. Maybe they've turned things around. Maybe this isn't going to be added to the list of terrible indie horror games. But let's find out, shall we? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Like the video at the end if you did enjoy it. But here we go. We're going to start the demo to Ebola 2 Survival. That's loud. Oh, okay, right. Uh, now we're going to start it. <laughs> ah, difficulty settings. Okay, well, let's go to medium. Indie Game Studio presents... <laughs> That's a good start. My name is David, and I'm going to tell you my gruesome story. All right. I worked as a military contractor until I stepped on a landmine, and that is where my real nightmare began. The first flight took me to the hospital on Brood Street. It was an underground science lab, Mole 529. It was built in early 2020 by experienced architects and builders. A prominent businessman, Dr. Charlie Edward, owned its entire stock. He had made a huge breakthrough in medicine and science. Hopeless patients, those who had terminal cancer, AIDS, schizophrenia, physical injuries, and other illnesses, and had lost faith in the recovery, now could be cured. The best minds from all over the world worked for Charlie. It was a significant success that was recognized by all mankind. Everything was fine until Jason, the richest and most powerful person in the world, bribed all the shareholders and became the owner of 80% of all Panicum shares. Jason was addicted to power. Moreover, he had conducted biological weapons research. Of course. He got hold of 80% of the shares. He became the president of the Panicum Corporation. Charlie was an intelligent man who sought to help people, but he lost and had to flee across borders. Now the doctors of the scientific center are reassembling my body after that tragedy in the war. And I hope nothing has changed since the management shuffled. Alright, Ebola 2 Survival. I understood a little bit of that. I suppose to really fully understand it, you need to play the first one. Uh, 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 what the hell? Am I dead? Or is it a dream? Maybe Anesthesia acted on me in such a way. Hmm. I have to get out of here. How do I open this bloody door? Well, let's find out, shall we? Okay, what was that? You? Okay, you opens the diary, it seems. Fair enough. Okay, so there's going to be crafting in this game, and I'll never forget this place, apparently. Right, so it's black, green, purple, black and purple. Alright. Anything else? Oh, there's more? Oh, wow. Okay, um... This might be a bit overly complicated, honestly, but sure, all right. Nice that it's an option. You combine blood too. Of course you do, yes, all right. So it depends. <laughs> it depends what you got to how much you can actually heal by the looks of it. Okay, so M is the map, O is hide the interface, P, any symbol. Okay, is that it? My beloved wife, apparently, right. And that's the end of the book. My beloved wife ends the book. Right, yeah, okay, so that was an interesting cutscene. Um, I, I, a lot of reused assets, potentially? I don't know, I'm, I'm suspicious, quite honestly. But let's see. X? Oh, it's E, actually, but fine. Uh, I had surgery on this table. Yes. Hmm. Interesting drawing. Here we go. Who could have painted such a horror? Um, the big twist is that it's probably me. What's that? He's always here or something like that? 
Hmm. Okay, it looks like some blood. I've got B minus or B negative blood. Okay. Uh, so, is this the door that you're talking about? Ah, here we are. Okay. How many numbers do we need to put in? Well, it might be that amount, or it might be a little shorter than that. Either way, that doesn't seem to work, so, okay, right. Uh, let's come out of that. What we got over here? Anything? Honestly, so far, it doesn't seem too bad. I quite like the way it looks, I like the way it plays. A key is required for this, apparently. But not this bit up here. Okay, what's that? Is that a pencil? It's a pencil! Okay, I've got a pencil. Let's have a look at this map screen. Oh, okay, well, floor one's pretty big. There's a hospital and a basement. Wow. Okay. All oh, right, right, it seems like the hospital is the bit that we're going to be uh, exploring. I guess the basement, that's probably in the, the full game. Quite a few areas, honestly. Yeah, all right. All right, well, you know, I'm not going to hold my breath or anything, but maybe this is actually pretty good. What's this? Oh, really? Ammo. Okay, well, I, I don't believe I've got a gun at the moment, but maybe I can find one. What we got over here? Oh, something to read. Uh, oh, no. Oh, what's going on? What, what was that? Oh, that's been added to the diary. That was you, wasn't it? Okay, so let's see. Oh, okay, let's see when we're standing a little bit closer to a light. Like, over here, that'll do, right? Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, so, what was that? It's been added to the diary, right? Oh, it's the note of Holy Usher, right. Nikolai, don't forget to turn the clock hands back. The clock is already four hours and thirty minutes fast. Okay, maybe that's a... a clue to the door. Okay, let's have a look. So what is that? 10... 10... Okay, 10.07. Or 22.07. Okay. So... 4.30, right? So what would that be? 17.37, I suppose. 17.37? Uh... Is that right? I think that could... I think that's right! Okay. We made it. We made it. Okay. Oh boy. Please. What's happened here? I don't know. But to be honest, this seems like it could be a good game. I'm gonna eat my words. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, this this doesn't seem so bad. Hey! Oh. Who is there? I don't even want to imagine you might be there. Mm, okay, well, let's get away from the door then. Uh, I might be able to pull the planks off, but let's not even try. Okay, a key's required for that. Uh, got anything over here? Right. Panicum Corporation, that's right. Oh. I don't really know where that's coming from. Somewhere ahead of me, I suppose. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, what's this? Something in your pocket? The corpse is corrupting. The name on the nameplate is Alexander Ross. Right, okay. Yeah, I'm completely willing to overlook a, a few, you know, bad translations and spelling mistakes and stuff like that. What's this? Looks like a... Well, it looked like an organ or something. In fact, it's purple gunpowder. And, uh, sorry, what does purple gunpowder do? Let's just take a quick look. Um, so that's six bullets. Okay, yeah, alright, sure. Right. So you can actually craft the gunpowder as well, it seems. Yeah, there's there's a lot going on here. Okay. What we got here? Oh, a hammer's required. Well, let's let's look out for a hammer. I guess, yeah, we can get the planks off. Oh, shit. Oh, you can see that the glass is going to break. What is this shit? What the hell is going on here? I need to get out of here fast. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Okay. Let's go this way. Yes, into the... Oh, the door's jammed. Of course the toilet door is jammed. <sighs> the fuck was that? 
Do not open the door. Shit! Alright! Yeah, should have listened. Definitely should have listened. That was so fucking loud, too. Right. Does this work? Can I pry it open? No, nope, door's jammed again. Okay. Um, can I just leave by, like, prying these off? Oh, hang on. I don't think it's safer outside. I do! I really do! Yeah. I mean, maybe that's just ignorance, but <laughs> I really do think it's safer out there. Oh? Looks like there's something through there. Yeah, something shines behind the pipes, but I can't... I can't reach it with my hand. Right, so we're looking for something to grab it. Something to pull it towards me, I suppose. There's probably something in there that I can use honestly. Right. Let's see, shall we? Um... Can I get inside? Do I need to use the scanner? A key is required, it seems. Fair enough. What about this side? This looks a little safer. Uh oh, damn, it's so bright. My skin's on fire. <sighs> what? You! What? How did you get out from under the lock? You can't get out of here. See that cross? It will never let you escape from here. M monster Stay away from me! Back off! Get away! I'm trying to work out if those little cutscenes are actually made for the game. Or have, have they been sort of like modified and, and, and used elsewhere? Are they just assets that the developer borrowed? Hey look, a hammer! There you go. Alright, should be able to pry the boards off now. This crucifix? Right. So... <laughs> right, 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 right. Okay, yeah, that... That hurts quite a bit. Can we go in here? Keys required, security, presumably a key is required. Yeah, keys required. Okay, um... The traitor will be killed. I think that's what it says. What the hell is going on? Okay, well, I've, I've got the hammer. I don't know where that guy ran off to. I guess he's like in there or in the security office. I think it's just a matter of time before that breaks, honestly. Right, so... Over here, let's see. Alright. Cool. Is anyone else a little bit surprised that this seems to be semi-good? <laughs> Definitely a step in the right direction at the very least. Okay. Do I need a key or...? Oh, okay. Apparently E doesn't work, but you need to sort of walk into the door to open it. Okay. Uh, do we go up? Do we go down? We're not going up. Is there something here? No. Okay, we're going down then. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Right. Someone surely has a gun. Okay. That doesn't sound good. Maybe I should stop off on this floor. Never mind, the door's jammed. Down here then. This way? Active area. Mm, okay. Well, there's there's something going on through here, obviously. How far down can we go? Oh, is this it? This is it. Door's jammed. Anything under the stairs? Oh, there is! Added three gas. Do I have, like, a container? Do I have a canister? Did I just put that in my pocket? <laughs> okay, so it's tab for the inventory. Let's take a proper look at this. So I've got a few slots here. Can I use that as, like... Okay, I, I guess this would be my sort of, like, one, two, three, and four to pull out my, uh, my weapons. Doesn't look like I can use the hammer as a weapon. In fact, it's a key. This seems pretty good. Yeah. Okay, security. Key? Oh, no, the door's jammed this time. Whoa, jeez, okay. Yeah, and it's spooking me a little bit, I've got to be honest. Okay, we've got a key to something. It's a silver key. Alright. Oh, hey. Oh, god damn, you're infected as well, are you? Hmm. So what's this down here? That is, a uh, A lighter. Okay. Right, um, so... Can we go a little further? I need a key card. Not just a key. Okay, uh... Well, there was... 
there was a load of doors upstairs that needed a key. Um, does it actually tell me where it goes? Key to the security room two. Okay. Security two. That's the stairs, so I can run up. Right, that's that's the, the crucifix that seems to burn me if I go towards it. So it's that one on the left, it seems. Okay. What was that roar that I heard? It wasn't you, was it? No. Oh, here we go. I knew it was going to happen at some point. Oh, uh, move the cabinet. Instantly, apparently. Okay. Okay. Well, the key's required for that door. Looks like he's not trying to get through anymore. All right. There's some good things about this. Yeah. Okay, let's see. This key should open security. Yeah, all right. Okay. All right. Pretty well executed jump scares. Let's hope they don't, you know, just keep on happening, because I'll get a little bit tired of them. But still, yeah. Yeah. So what we got here? Ah, oh, finally we've got a gun. Okay, and I think more ammo. That's right, and there's something else too. Oh, that's a key card, isn't it? It is. Right. Okay, so let's see. Uh-huh. Already comes fully loaded. We've got a Makarov here. Okay, so that's... One? No? Is it scroll wheel? Is it... Is there a button? In fact, let's, let's just take a quick look at the options. Okay, so graphically, okay, we've got, we've got some options here. Audio-wise, okay. Uh, sound quality is low. Uh, I don't know why it's low by default, but let's put it up to high. Let's see what happens. Uh, controls. Um, a little bit lacking on controls by the looks of it. Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure exactly how I equipped the gun, but fair enough. Um, okay, so I can right-clip, I can remove the ammo. Let's equip it. There you go. All right, that's a start. Yeah, okay, so yeah, there's gaps. There's things they could work on, but it's a decent start. What have we got in here, then? What's that? It's a bag or something. It's a bag of bag. Okay, bag. Oh, did that increase the, the slot? Oh no, hang on, here we are. Oh, it does increase the inventory, apparently. Hey! Alright. Uh, yeah, let's pick up some more green gunpowder. That door's jammed, alright. Okay, so... That keycard, it's the red keycard. Is that for the door downstairs? It's kinda gotta be right. Oh, hang on. Can I just, like, take this out? No, I don't think so. Um, at the very least, it's R to reload, so that's good. Alright, so yeah, let's go down here. Let's see if I can use this red key card, shall we? Okay, so it should be here. Yeah, it works. It works. Alright. Does not sound good. Sounds like there's someone through that wall as well. Okay. Um, what we got here? Okay, there's a way around. Where does this go? Uh, it goes off map, actually. So chances are this door is not going to work. Door's jammed. All right. Um, room two, laboratory three. With a floppy disk. I guess that's like a save point. Is that how that works in this game? Oh, I can't get through there. Wait, wasn't that... It seems like there might be a door behind this. Not entirely sure. And can I somehow... Oh, hang on. Oh, the lighter? Are we trying to burn this? We're burning it. Ah, that's what the light is for. Oh, cool. The door is very happy about that, apparently. Right. Alright. 
So this is the save area? Oh god, what's this? Stem cells? Okay. Something down here? Oh, there is. Yeah, more of this green gunpowder. Information added to the diary. Let's check the diary again. I've been adding to the notes a little bit. Okay. Still haven't filled out those pages. All these. <laughs> There's that note again. The study of the E-virus. Mm, okay. The E-virus activates the mutated cells for a certain period of time. The more time has elapsed since the carrier was infected, the longer the drug is effective. The E-virus does not work if the person who applied it is not a carrier of the Ebola virus. Ebola virus is a genus of viruses from the filovirus family. It is worth noting that the longer the carrier is infected, the quicker the point of no return occurs. Ebola virus is also easily transmitted through saliva, blood, and by airborne transmission. A single scratch is enough to get infected. Okay, naturally propagative Ebola virus has a different outcome than vaccination. The patient burns out alive in two hours. Then a uh, anomie, anomaly occurs, something like that. Such symptoms as bulimia, severe aggression, absence of pain are common. Due to the function of lungs, the patient doesn't require oxygen. The heart stops blood pumping. In other words, the patient exists due to the virus cells, which create electromagnetic discharges and completely control the body of the infected person. Making them all sort of zombified, I suppose. Okay. Thank you for that. The door has really been getting involved, hasn't it? Got something back here. All sorts of drugs and medicines. That looks like, yeah, that's a blood bag, isn't it? Does this stuff stack? Uh, it, it doesn't, does it? No. Okay. <laughs> that's a typewriter. But we don't use that? Okay, we can read, though. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. It's a bit of a shame that you can't go straight to the, the new page. You have to sort of just keep on going through until you find it. Uh, a testing of cloning. Okay. Human cloning is a method of creating an embryo and then raising people from the embryo with a specific human genotype. With the help of this method, human clones can be instantly grown and their organs can be used as donors for the seriously ill patients, allowing for a 100% success rate without organ rejection. Ah, that's how you've been doing it, eh? Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I? Here we go. Ooh. What we got here? Uh, I don't know. Oh no, is this like where I store things? Ah, oh, shit, okay. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Right, well... Yeah, uh, uh, let's just keep it as it is. Maybe let's put one of these away. Because I don't know if I'll need all that gunpowder, but... Yeah, alright. This is pretty good. Honestly, this is this is pretty good. I think they've turned it around a little bit, and yeah, there's there's probably a bunch of assets grabbed from other things. This is pretty good, and what's this? A set of casings! Ah! Okay, well, can, can I try this crafting thing then? Let's have a look. So, combine with green or purple. Well, let's try... let's try purple. Right. And then they stack. So there you go, I got more bullets. Nice. Nice. Yeah, okay. Anything else in here? And what's this? Oh, that's how we save. It's not the typewriter, we use stem cells. So the stem cells are like the ink ribbons. Okay, yeah, cool, cool. So that's that. That's pretty cool. So... Right, there is definitely a door behind here. I don't know what we need to do. Ah. Yeah, okay. Are we just pushing it out the way? Or pulling it out the way, I think? Oh, yeah, we're pulling it out the way. Right. Oh, oh, hello. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. I love the animation. Oh boy, okay, well, he's, he's, he's down. What about you? Really? One headshot and you're down? Oh, Christ. What's this? What have we got? Oh! We burn the bodies? Ah, maybe then they won't come back. 
Okay, well actually there was some gas down here. Maybe I can get three more? Here we are. Oh, come on, really? Okay, well... That appears to be a thing. Cool. Yeah, alright, cool, cool. Alright, so, through here. What we got? Uh, looks like yet another blood bag. What is that? Which one? So again, let's just try this combining thing. Um, combine with that. That makes A, B. And I think that's a pretty good heal. I think that was like 50 or 60 HP. So, there you go. Oh, there's another one out there. Let's hope they can't get in. What happened to you? What's this? Oh, okay, more uh, more of this gunpowder, I think. More purple stuff, yep. Information added to the diary, okay. Whoa! What the... Why was that so loud? What was that? <laughs> I'm so confused. Okay, it looks like there's something else here, and this is... It's a key, I think. A golden key. And I think that's more... More B-negative blood, by the looks of it. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, maybe there should be a light over the diary as you open it. Just a thought. There you go. Okay, so, what did I pick up? Alright, eventually we'll get to the new bit, I'm sure. Complete regeneration. Oh, oh, actually, both of these, I think, are new. In case of death, it's possible to recreate a 100% similar clone of the person at the family's request. It's enough to have stem cells and the patient's DNA for it. The cloning process has been improved, allowing the cells to grow at an enormous speed. Five to ten minutes is enough to recreate a person aged 50. Some of the subjects have the unique feature after being destroyed. After a while, the body splits into atoms, which float for a while in the air. The atoms start making DNA again, reconstructing the body. They fully recover, get up, and walk again. Which is maybe why you try and burn them. Yeah, this is also the way how infection occurs. As long as the spores fly in the air, they are transmitted to a new carrier. Complete destruction is only possible by burning the body. Cell metamorphosis cannot tolerate high temperatures, which is a weakness. And that's the end of that. Okay, right. Well, we're, we're learning. We're learning. More B-negative blood, by the looks of it. Something over here? Uh, yep. Can't really tell what it is until... Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's another A, isn't it? So, let's pick that up. Yeah, we've got A positive over here. Can you do it like that? No, unfortunately you can't. Okay. Alright. To be honest, I think I might need to find another bag at some point. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Can we open each and every drawer? Seems like maybe we could, yeah. It's kind of awkward, because it doesn't really show you which one you're opening, but yeah, okay. Uh, anything over here? There's a lot to choose from. But I don't see any... No, I, I don't see any ammunition or gunpowder or anything like that. Maybe I'm mistaken. Wow. Look at this. Oh, look at this guy. The running animation. What's up with that? That's hilarious. Do it again. Go on, do it again. <laughs> oh, amazing. I kind of don't want to kill this guy. Oh, man. Okay, well, to be honest, if the heads exploded, do I need to burn them? Well, I mean, I don't, I don't actually think I can burn you, can I? No, I need gasoline and a lighter. I'm missing the gasoline. Right. I'm hearing shuffling like there's someone else. Oh, what happened there? Oh, that was you disintegrating, wasn't it? That was you and your spores flying into the air. Right. Probably shouldn't breathe in. Right, okay. Uh, let's see. Let's go this way, shall we? Yeah, let's see. Oh, that's not good. Oh. Someone through there was screaming, maybe? There's a lot of people through there. Can I get through? No. Probably for the best. Hey there. 
Okay, well, let's go up instead, shall we? Maybe I can use this door here. Nope, the door's jammed. Bugger me. I'm sorry. What was that? Who was doing that? <laughs> it was like all the sound effects at once. That was great. Okay, so up here. Another sort of lab area, I suppose. Again, though, the door is jammed. To be honest, it looks like there's no doors to that room, so... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't think we're getting in there. Uh, what about over here, though? Door is jammed again. Okay, alright. Uh, anything else up here? Uh, I think that's just a shadow, really. Uh, no, it doesn't really look like it. What about... Yeah, what about on the ground level down there? Let's go down here. And then down again. That works. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> okay, well, maybe maybe let's not use those stairs. Looks like there's some over there, so yeah, let's go that way instead. In fact, I haven't tried that door, have I? So yeah, let's go down to go back up. Okay. Right, so... What have we got? According to this... Um, well, there's an area up there, which leads to a few technical rooms, so maybe I should check that out. Alright. There's those guys over there. Have they... Uh, uh, I think you've seen me, but I don't know if he has. Oh, yeah, yeah, they have. Okay, he's in more of a zombie mode. She's in more of a I'm gonna run towards you madly mode. Oh shit, okay, right. Might be wasting my ammo a little bit here, honestly. I don't know. I need to find some more casings and make some more. Whoa! Oh my god. Who doesn't love ragdoll physics, honestly? Who doesn't love that? Okay, I've actually got two rounds left. That's not great. Um, yeah. I'm gonna need to find some more. Hopefully somewhere nearby. Maybe in here? Okay, it's not jammed. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, there's someone in there. Let's go this way. Looks like this is clear. Right, so, come on, help me out. Someone's someone's got to have something around here, right? Ooh. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah, that's it. Six more rounds, brilliant, okay. And on this side? Nope, nothing, I don't think. Okay, all right, well, uh, should we go in? Is it worthwhile? Help me, looks like there's a note. Is that a rifle? Is that... Oh, that's a gun. Oh, it's a shotgun, I think. Oh, hang on, hang on. Right, come on, come on. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Right, I'm down to what? Nothing. I've got no rounds left. I've finished you off, but... A shotgun? What is that? It is... Oh, it's a Winchester! Right, yes, okay, alright. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna right-click and equip it. Yeah. And there's some rounds for it, too. Lovely. Okay, so, what's this? Information added to the diary. Thankfully, this is a well-lit area. It's gotta be somewhere over here, isn't it? Okay, so let's see. A note of Dr. Adam, this is different. I invented a material that creates a magnetic field through charged electrons. This material drags the atoms of the E-Virus and destroys them. These electrons have a destructive effect on the virus carrier. The material is quite fragile. If you drop it, it will break and the effect on the field will stop. Strange as it may sound, but I'm religious, so I made it in the shape of a cross. How can one not become religious after such events? That's the thing that's preventing me from going any further, right? Or at least I think it is. Keys required for that. What we got down here? Oh, lovely! Okay. 
And a set of casings as well. Right, well, um... I think I want to combine with that and then equip that. Yeah, there you go. Bit of a shame that I can't seem to use this. Maybe if I was using a controller, maybe then I could use the D-pad for this. But uh, for whatever reason, yeah, this doesn't seem to work very well. But, um, yeah, let's try out the Winchester. What we got here? Anything? A lockpick is required. There's lockpicking? Okay. All green. Okay. Purple. More purple. Okay. Well, this is pretty good. This is actually pretty solid. Okay. Well, to be honest, I don't really know what I'm doing here. I was just kind of exploring. I've got this key, haven't I? I've got this golden key. Lab 1. Where's Lab 1? Not down here. Uh, lab Laboratory 1 is over here, apparently. It's the area to the right? Across from the security room? Right next to the cross. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. So, oh, I just realized we can actually put a marker down. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness, this is actually a pretty good game. I might actually play the full version of this. This is kind of crazy. Indie Game Studio, you've really turned it around. <laughs> I almost want to go back and play Ebola 1, but apparently that really is bad. So, yeah. I mean, it's janky, it's goofy, there's some, there's some problems, obviously. But it is pretty fun to play. Okay, so through here. Um, yeah. yeah. We need to do something about that cross. Shooting it doesn't seem to be doing anything, but... Is this lab one? Right, this is lab one. Okay, filled with cockroaches, apparently. What we got here? Okay. More purple gunpowder, and again, I need to find myself a set of lockpicks. Okay. More stem cells, by the looks of it. I guess I can top up on those. Okay. Anything else? Uh, there's more blood. Uh, to be honest, I don't think I need any of that. I don't know if I really need any more healing items. Probably should have added uh, a few things to the inventory downstairs. Oh, are they casings? Set of casings. Okay, well, let's combine with that and... There we go. We got some bullets. And we still got one slot free. I need a bag. I need another bag. Okay, let's not pick up the gunpowder anymore. Not not yet. Not the green stuff, anyway. I don't really use that. Guess we're going this way. Likely the doctor left through this door, but the lock is broken. Wonderful. Uh, this door apparently doesn't exist, either. There's some stairs. They're the ones that are blocked. Like... I've still got that hammer, right? I mean, there was something, like, horrifying on the other side, but maybe, just maybe, I can get it open? Right, yeah. Here we go. I don't even want to imagine who might be there. Oh, okay, so we're not going to... We're not going to pry these off, we're not going to destroy them? Okay. Okay. Um, I'm at a little bit of a loss. If I can't go through there because it doesn't exist. There's this area to the north that we've got to get to at some point, right? Right. Ah! Right, okay, you do shoot it. Or at least with the Winchester it seems to work. Ah, there you go! Ah. Oh dear. Uh, that's a lot of people with a lot of guns. <laughs> I assume they mean me harm. Yeah, they're probably not on my side. What are we doing? Oh. Uh, apply it? Uh... This is what it feels like, apparently. Okay. Oh, oh shit. That fucking hell. Oh god. 
Oh shit! Right, right, right. I I've changed. I've turned. I'm one of them. Oh, oh fuck at me! Fuck at me! Oh man! Are you coming? <laughs> Maybe I have to charge them. Right. So I've got, I've got an attack there. Okay. It looks like I can sort of guard up with right mouse button. Right. Let's go. Oh my god! There's so many of them. I can't see what I'm doing! Jesus Christ, right, I'm, I'm going, I'm going back. Can I access my inventory or something here? No, I can't. Not when I've transformed. Bloody hell, I don't know how many of them I actually took out. Two or three, I think. I think there's more. Let's go. Oh, shit! Oh, was that him? That was the last one? Holy crap. Jeez. What's wrong with me? <laughs> There's a lot wrong with you, man. Oh, please, let me pick this up. No. No, don't disintegrate with him. Ah. All right, well, looks like I did actually keep my inventory. But yeah, you can only use it when you haven't applied the virus. The door is jammed. Okay, right. Holy shit. Um, did that actually damage me? I think it did. I'm fine, but I'm not really. I could be better. So, now I'm good. I'm good. It's green. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay. There you go. Actually, I'll tell you what. Let's reload. And there you are. Three free slots. To be honest, I think this is a little bit overloaded. Let's pick up some more ammo, though, shall we? More blood. I'll leave that there, I think. There's loads of uh, B-negative blood around. Oh my. Through here? The door is jammed. It's taken me a while to say this, but... Can I leave? Oh, shit. I think... Oh, I need to find out what's going on with me before leaving. Damn. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, let's have a look at the reception area, shall we? Anything interesting on the notice board? There is, actually. The article says the corporation is among the leaders in providing medical services. Indeed. Indeed it is. Okay. More blood. What's this? Oh, we're looking for a name and a password, are we? And we can just freely type it in. That's not it, remarkably. Okay. Um, fair enough. Oh. Alexa oh, yeah, Alexander... Was it Ross? Russ? Ross, I think. That could be the username. Alexa... Okay, so... Let's see. Something like that? Or does it have to be capitalised? And then... Like that? I don't know what the password would be, though. No, I'm not really sure about that. Okay, well... Hmm. Can't actually look at that. No, can't read it. I guess that's that, really. The down here. Let's see. Of course, I rushed down here pretty quickly because I was killing those guys, but I should probably go back up and see what I can do. What's over here? That looks like there's something. Is that, I think, casings? Yeah, a set of casings. Okay. Uh, sure. Sure. Right. Yeah, okay. So let's just combine with... Purple again, I think. Yeah. Yeah, what did green do again? 9 by 19. Okay. Hmm, okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't think the gun could use that. So black and green wouldn't really work out for me very well. Anyway, can't use this lift. Um, can't leave, because I don't know what's going on with me. I need to access that terminal somehow. Need to find the doctor. Is there a door under there or something? No, I wasn't entirely sure, though. Can't use the lift. Let's go back up. Let's see what I can find. If nothing else, I want to check that guy's uh, 
Name tag and well, I want to know more about him. Right, okay, more ammo? More ammo. Nothing down there though. Uh, so what we got? Security! Oh, fucking jammed again? And what's that? Uh, I mean, that's the, that's the good stuff, but... Right. Um... It looks like you actually have an item that I want. Have you got the password? Where's this key? Where the hell is this key? Still can't access the toilets? Still can't access the toilets, right, but... Uh... You. You're Alexander, right? Alexander Ross. Maybe... Okay, yeah, maybe there's a gap there. Maybe it's Alexander Space Ross, but... You're not carrying, like, a, a note with your password on it, right? You didn't write that out in blood? No? Uh... I kill you. <laughs> um... I'm not really sure. I'm not going to open that one again. There's an item back there as well. There's still more that needs to be done, it seems. Hmm. I'll just have a little look around again, see what else I can find. What's this? That's new. It's a little... Oh! Lockpicks! Ah, oh, now there was... There was a couple of lockers, right? Where were they? One was... Okay, I know where one is. Okay, right by Laboratory 1. I think it's this one here? That's it. Oh, shit, okay. Okay, this is very Skyrim. Oh, no. Did that work? I don't think it snapped. It worked, okay, and what's this? Steroids? A metabolic drug. Okay, and that can be combined with a... Go on. Blood plasma. Okay. Alright. And then there's some more casings, I think? Alright. Yeah. So if I can combine... Can I... Right, I can combine these two together to make green and green. And then... Well, I mean, just out of interest, let's just try it. Right. Okay. Yeah, 9 by 19. I don't know if I could actually equip that. I don't think I would be able to. Unless I find another gun, of course. But okay, I I've still got I've still got two more lockpicks. I didn't actually snap it or anything, so I could use it again. Where was was it this one? No, that's jammed. I think there was one down by where I found the Winchester. Let's go down there. And I, I can't, like, pick this lock, can I? No, I actually need a key. Here we go. I think it's this one. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Nope. 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 Ah, here we go. Getting close. I think I got it. I got it, and uh, more metabolic, and more casings it looks like. Okay, I'm, I'm looking for some sort of unique item that might be able to help me either grab the item through the pipes, uh, it might be the passwords, I don't really know. There's just, there's a key that I'm missing to unlock some of these cupboards as well. Maybe there's some sort of skeleton key, a master key for some of this stuff? You're kidding me. His surname is the password. So hang on, we've got this... That's the area that I tried to get to. That's the area that's filled with the infected. Right, I, I see. Okay, right. That's stupid as hell. Was there, like, another hint that I missed or something? Because, you know, I'm I'm going to try and pretend that I didn't spend the last, like, 15 minutes going through a load of combinations and stuff. I even tried using 1234 as the password numerous times with different usernames. I mean, there's that there. Was there something else that said, like, Ross or check his surname or... I don't know. Maybe they should have been? God, I feel dumb now. But that seemed like a, a dumb answer to it. <sighs> anyway, I think we're making some progress again. So let's go back up. Let's go... Yeah, let's get back up to go down. 
and let's head for the uh, the other lab areas down there. I can't I can't seem to run anymore. Maybe there's a stamina system, and I, I just ran a little bit too much. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that's it. Okay, so. Ah. Now I can use it. Okay, here we go. I can barely see you, honestly, in the darkness. Okay, you're down. Okay, I wish I had some more gasoline. I really do. Should we try this? Let's try this. Hello. Nice. What the hell? Okay, I'm getting freaked out. What? What is making that sound? Oh shit, right. <laughs> to be honest, I hope the animations stay as goofy as that in the full game. Can we open this? Oh, we can. Shit, I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god. The shotgun's fucking amazing! Okay, right. Don't inhale. <laughs> okay. Anyone else in here? Doesn't look like it. Notes have been updated, though. In some capacity. What's this? A welding torch? A welding torch? And I think some more casings as well. Yeah. Oh, no, no, just... Yeah, some rounds. Nice. So... Okay. Where would I use that? Hmm. Maybe through here. Something needs fixing. Something needs welding, obviously. Someone pulled out the call button. There's something I can use in there, but I don't know what it is. I guess I, I, I need to use this elevator zone site. At some point, I need to use it. There. No. More blood. Not that interested. More stem cells. Why not, right? More ink ribbons, essentially. That's not a very pleasant sound. Casings, I think. Have we got any... Hmm. I, I probably shouldn't pick up any more items, at least at this point. You know, unless they're, like, really unique ones. Can I go through here? Door's jammed. Good. I don't think it really leads to anything anyway. <laughs> this side? Okay, well there's something going on here. Alright. Am I... Am I trying to squeeze through? Pull these apart a little bit more? For whatever reason, I can't seem to do it. Maybe I'm lacking an item to just, like, hold the doors apart? I'm not sure. This demo's lasted quite a long time as well. This is actually a pretty good demo. There's a lot about this I like. And I just can't believe I'm saying that, but... Yeah. This is pretty solid. This is better than most demos that I play. By quite a long way as well. Right. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's save. Um, and let's see. What else am I going to do? What am I going to do with the... We oh! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I might know what to do with the welding torch. I was looking for an item that might be able to pull that thing through the pipes. But maybe I just remove the pipes. Yes, that's it, that's it! Well, pipe, not pipes. Okay, I've got a button. I have a button. You've still got something important on you. I still need to find this key, but... Yeah, I don't know. Wait, what? Was this like this as I ran up? I didn't notice that. Yeah, maybe if I go down the elevator, I can find the key and then get through the barricade somehow. I'm not really sure. Oh, God. Uh, run. Shit! Whoa, fucking hell. Okay, I'm running. I am running. Was that the thing that's making all those roaring sounds? Okay. That's the, uh, the game's version of a liquor or something, I suppose. I don't know if it's still following me. It's like I missed a cutscene or something. Like, something blew up. I'm not really sure why. Okay, um... 
I put the button back, and now we can use... What was it? Elevator 5? Okay. Kind of regret not fighting it now. Oh, that is where the demo comes to an end. Okay, well there you go. That was the demo to Ebola 2 Survival. And I quite enjoyed it. And I can't believe I'm saying that. I can't believe those words are coming out of my mouth, but I actually did enjoy this. Indie Game Studio, I think you actually have turned things around. There's a lot to like about this. A real great deal to like, yeah. It seems like there are different paths to take as well. I mean, I didn't have to transform, I didn't have to take the virus. I could have fought that thing at the end. I kind of wish I did, honestly. Um, I guess, perhaps, if I didn't block the window as well, the zombie would have got through. And without a gun, that would have been interesting. Uh, maybe it would have killed me, I'm not sure. It seems like I did the right thing there, but... Yeah, um, the way it looks, I mean, there's a, there's a few assets that have been flipped, but it's a good looking game. It plays well, it runs well. I actually quite like the gunplay. Some of the animations, as, as goofy and as dodgy as they seem, I enjoy. They're funny. Um, yeah, I might buy the full version of this game. I might buy the full version of this game. That's so crazy. Okay, well, you know what? Indie Game Studio, well done. Well done. I may have mocked you in the past, but this... this seems to be good. I hope it's a success. I really do. I'm not gonna hold my breath or anything, but maybe this is actually pretty good. This seems like it could be a good game. I'm gonna eat my words. <laughs> do not open the door. Shit! Alright! Yep. Yeah, should've listened. Is anyone else a little bit surprised that this seems to be semi-good? Someone surely has a gun. Oh no, the door's jammed this time. And, whoa, jeez, okay. The door is very happy about that, apparently. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Information added to the diary, okay. Whoa! What the... Why was that so loud? What was that? Do it again. Go on, do it again. <laughs> I'm sorry. What was that? To be honest, it looks like there's no doors to that room, so... <laughs> and then down again. That works. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> He's in more of a zombie mode. She's in more of a I'm gonna run towards you madly mode. That's a lot of people with a lot of guns. <laughs> Oh my god, there's so many of them! I can't see what I'm doing! Please, let me pick this up. No! No! Don't disintegrate with him! Ah! It's taken me a while to say this, but... Can I leave? Oh shit! You're not carrying, like, a, a note with your password on it, right? You didn't write that out in blood? No? You're kidding me. Nice. What the hell? There's a lot about this I like. And I just can't believe I'm saying that, but... Yeah, I don't know. Wait, what? 